Hello everyone, this is Puka, and today I'm going to be playing in another tournament on Pokemon TCG Online, another alpha test for these tournaments. So before we do that, I am going to take a look at the deck I played. But since this video is going to be extremely long, we're just going to gloss over the strategy very quickly. What I have here is a, a pretty simple Team Plasma deck, but it does not revolve around Lugia EX. Instead, it revolves around Kyurem which has Frost Spear and Blizzard Burn. This was the focus of Team Plasma decks for all of last season and the beginning of this season, and it's still a very good card. It, it lost some strength after the rule changes happen on the first turn. You can't attack going first, the Pokemon Catcher rule change, but it's still a very strong deck. So we just have Kyurem and Deoxys with Power Connect adding damage to Kyurem's attacks. Then we have Thunderous EX for backup. That's the main idea of the deck. We're just trying to be very quick, spread damage with Frost Spear, get some big hits with Blizzard Burn. Now we also have a counter to Pyroar in this deck, since all these other Pokemon are basics. We have to run an evolution line or something that can hit Pyroar. The solution for this deck is going to be Glaceon. It's a water type that can knock out Pyroar with Icy Wind. It can also use the ability Freeze Zone to give our Pokemon two less retreat costs. So this is nice to alleviate some of the heavy retreat costs that Deoxys EX and Kyurem both have. So you can take a look at the deck list. I'm not going to go over it very much since, again, this video is going to be extremely long. This is going to be a tournament, and let's just jump right into the tournament. Uh, like always, it's going to be three rounds, single elimination, eight players. You win three rounds, you win the tournament. Plain and simple. So here we go with round number one against Tac Black 98 and it looks like I'll probably be going second in this game. And we're going to start off with a couple of Eevee. Not exactly the greatest start in the world, but hey, at least we got some supporters to go with them. So I'm just going to put down one Eevee here. We don't really want more than one in play. It's not like Umbreon where having multiple Glaceon in play is a benefit by any means. Minus four retreat cost doesn't really do much. Uh, it's not worth the bench spot, so... Where you do have to start off with one of those Eevee, but we'll see what happens after that. My opponent starts off with a Darkrai and a Magikarp. Magikarp, not a card we see very often, so we'll have to see what kind of crazy stuff my opponent has in store. Says, let's have a good game, okay? I'm not really <laughs> sure how to respond to that. Um, we can't really control that, but oh well. Uh, I start off with uh, a lot of Junipers and a lot of Ns. I don't really know what to do here. A Juniper could backfire immensely, so I'm just going to go for the N. And, okay, we're going to get some good stuff into play. Got a Chorus Machine onto my Curum. So we'll go ahead and get that. And then pass the turn. And, okay, this is a decent start. Didn't get an Energy Attachment onto the Curum there, unfortunately. That would have been nice, but... We'll have to live with the result. We see a regular Evil Tall hit the bench, so it's probably safe to say we'll see Evil Tall EX in this game as well. Wouldn't be surprised. We see a Getsis. It's going to get my other Chorus Machine. That's fine. That's only one card for my opponent, and I wasn't really planning on using that Chorus Machine anyway, so I'll live with it. Uh, so I'm going to bench Deoxys number two. I'm not going to bother benching Thunderous EX. I do have another one in the deck. And I might, I might not need it right now. I need to save my bench space. But, oh man. Looks like we missed another energy attachment. How lame is that? I'm going to go with a Hypnotoxic Laser onto the Darkrai. And I think I'll just be content to leave the Eevee out there and take a hit for the team. Take one for the team, Eevee. Sorry. You're just in Darkrai's way. And we see a Skyla right here. Have to see what this goes for. Could be any number of things. We've already seen a Getsus and a Magikarp. Who knows what we'll see next? A Pokemon Fan Club. That's what we see next. That is a very irregular thing to see. Especially Skyla for a Pokemon Fan Club. I'm not really sure what to expect next from this opponent. But I'm going to do my best to try to figure things out here. We see a pal pad shuffling in Skyla and Getsis. So the strangeness continues. And there is a Night Spear, 30 to the Kyurem. 
and I'll probably have to just promote the Curum at this point and try to Frost Spear, setting up for a knockout. Now, unfortunately, uh, I draw a rainbow energy. <laughs> that means if I wanted to Frost Spear, I would have to attach the rainbow, which puts me in range for Night Spear, and that's just not good. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and Dowsing Machine... Discarding the rainbow and either a shadow triad or a chorus, maybe a juniper, just to get back N. And we'll try to draw a blend energy or a prism energy this turn. But oh no, I missed an attachment again. So that's three turns with no energy attachment. I could have just put a rainbow on Deoxys and kind of went for that, but. Nope, and oh my goodness, a Pokemon Center Lady. Now that Darkrai is fully healed, what is going on in this game? I am so confused right now. Okay, so now we have a fully powered Darkrai, and it has no damage on it at all. Kyurem's getting hit by the Night Spear, and this is just spiraling out of control at this point. Let's go for a Team Plasma Ball. I'm going to grab another Deoxys EX so I can get that into play. And we'll probably bench another Kyurem. Heck, let's just bench two more Kyurem. And then Colrus for a nice seven cards here. So here we have a decision. I can attach and Frost Spear. That's one option. Or we can Colrus Machine to a Deoxys. Put down a Prism Energy Switch and Helix Force. Or we can power up a different Kyurem and Frost Spear instead. So at this point... It looks like my opponent's only real threat is going to be that Darkrai. So I'm going to take the opportunity to just try to Helix Force for a knockout. We're going to use the Muscle Band just in case we see some other Pokemon Center Lady shenanigans. If my opponent healed 60, we'd be able to Helix Force for 120 again for the knockout. May as well do that. We do see the Pokemon Fan Club coming down, but we're not in particularly good shape here. With that Kyurem probably going down to a Night Spear this turn. And Deox is going to get hit for 90. I mean, it's not the worst spot in the world, but it's definitely not one I am glad to be in. Now we see a Pokemon fan club for a Blastoise EX and an Evil Tall EX. And the Blastoise gets the energy. I am just confused. I have no idea what's going on. We'll see what else comes out. I'm going to attach to that Curum on the bench. And we'll see what else I can get going. Juniper for a fresh 7. And I'm thinking we're going to Ultra Ball here. I think my Colrus Machine is useless at this point, since I've used all the Plasma Energy. I think we're going to go for an Eevee Ultra Ball for that, just so I can get the Glaceon into play and start getting some free retreat on my Pokemon. So there's the Helix Force for 120, taking down that Deoxys, or taking down the Darkrai with the Deoxys. And now Evotal comes out. And we'll see what else is going to happen here. Double Cullis goes on to the Evil Tall EX on the bench. And this is just looking scarier by the moment. As we are tied in prizes, we see yet another different supporter, a Silent from my opponent. We've seen... <laughs> I don't think we've seen a duplicate supporter yet. We've seen a Skyla, a Getsis, a Fan Club, a Pokemon Center Lady. Oh man, what is next? I have no idea. But I am going to Plasma Ball for the Glaceon. That way we can retreat our Deoxys for free and try to do something this turn. Now, probably just going to Frost Spear with Curum. First, we'll play the Skyla. Probably just need a supporter for next turn. We can grab a Colrus. That works. We can draw a bunch of cards next turn. And just checking out what I have left. I don't have a lot of stuff left. It's starting to get a little scary. But let's go ahead and retreat for free into the Kyurem, thanks to the free zone of Glaceon. And let's Frost Spear for 60. And it may seem like an obvious choice to take out the Magikarp, but I actually don't think that's the right thing to do here. I want to go and hit Evil Tall EX, I think. Since if that comes out, I'll then be able to Helix Force for the knockout, because I have the Muscle Band. It'll do 140 damage to the Evil Tall EX. So let's set it up with the Frost Spear. Uh, another option would be to hit it with a Thunderous EX with a Muscle Band. That would also finish off Evil Tall EX. So I think 
The Magikarp is very tempting to knock out, but the better play is going to be taking the 30 damage on that Evil Tall EX. So we just see another Oblivion Wing here. Another factor is that Evil Tall has a 2 retreat cost, so we don't have to worry too much about it retreating unless we see another Dark Eye come out or a Float Stone or a Switching Card. Uh, so we will get another turn to Frost Spear, and I think this time we're going to hit the Blastoise for 30 just saying, you know what, let's go ahead and soften up that other EX in case that gets another energy and starts attacking me. And, um, you know, if nothing changes, we can just Frost Spear, knock out both Evil Tall and the Magikarp, and then we just have to knock out one EX for the game. So this actually turned around pretty well after our lack of energy in the early goings of the game. And... Let's see if we can't just close the game out right now. Uh, we're gonna, we have nine cards left. I really just wanna power up another attacker here. We'll probably power up the Curum on the bench. You can either attach a rainbow or a prism to it. I'm just gonna put the rainbow on. Doesn't seem like that's gonna matter too much. And I can go ahead with the Frost Spear, taking down the Evil Tall and the Magikarp. Could have played a supporter there, but there didn't seem like anything I was really gonna need. Maybe play a Shadow Triad for I'm not really sure what. <laughs> uh, I actually want to keep those Shadow Triad as well. Those can be useful for all sorts of things. You know, we might need to grab a Plasma Energy for Genesect to Red Signal for a final knockout or something like that. Or get a Colorus Machine. Who knows? There's all sorts of options we have open right now. But here comes the big bad Evil Tall EX with four energy on it. And we'll see, can my opponent prevent a loss? At this point, we have Curum with two energy active, Curum with two energy on the bench, Deoxys with two energy on the bench. I mean, what is my opponent going to do here? I only have to take two prizes to win. A Blizzard Burn is going to be a knockout on either of these Pokemon EX that have been damaged already. A Helix Force will be enough to knock out the Evil Tall EX. So what seemed like a very bad start slowly turn back into advantage for me and once that dark eye went down my opponent just really ran out of steam it seemed like even after all those crazy supporters happened and we just didn't attach energy for a while uh, this deck is pretty strong and pretty resilient so we can come back from uh, weird things sometimes but there is just an evil ball and that means we're gonna go with the helix force for a lot of damage uh, we're actually covered up <laughs> uh, but that was actually 170 damage finishing off the game opponent says gg but i can't get to the chat i really dislike that feature on pokemon tcg online i should let you chat after the game i don't know why you can't but all right uh we win round number one with our plasma curum deck and it's on to the next round so we have two rounds to go that was a hard fought battle in the first one didn't have a great start but we managed to keep our composure and come back so let's see who goes first in this one looks like i will be going first against alexio hill and we'll have to see if this game goes any better i mean we did win the first game but hopefully we have a little bit of a better start this time around deoxys ex start not what i'm really looking for i would really like to start with a curum at some point but i suppose we'll have to just work with this one uh, Froakie from the opponent, that means we're probably going up against, well, obviously we're going up against something with Greninja, but beyond that, I'm not really sure what to expect. So let's go ahead and team Plasma Ball for the Curum right here, get that into play. Opponent says, good luck, wish it right back to my opponent, we'll go with the Chorus Machine, and here I'm definitely going to Juniper, but first we get an Ultra Ball. It hurts getting rid of the Dowsing Machine, but sometimes... That's just the way it is. And I'm actually going to take an Eevee. Why would I do this? Well, this is going to make a turn to Frost Spear uh, much more likely. right? So next turn, we could just evolve to Glaceon, Retreat, and Frost Spear. Thanks to Glaceon's Freeze Zone. So Glaceon's actually coming in handy, even though it's mostly a Pyro counter. Sometimes it's nice to get that free retreat. Not sure if it's really worth the bench spot or the space at this point, but... Hey, it's, it's working out so far. Now, my hand isn't particularly great. I, um, I mean, I do have a lot of energy. <laughs> I can say that. 
but beyond the energy, it's not looking too hot. Right, I don't even have a way to knock out this Froki next turn. I'm only doing 40 with Frost Spear. If I were to top deck a Muscle Band, perhaps that would be good. We do see an Ultra Ball discarding an N and a Frogadier, and there's a Mill Tank. So this is a Mill Tank Greninja deck, and this is actually a deck that I am kind of scared to face, in all honesty. It's just, um, for this Kyurem deck, there's no efficient way to really knock out Mill Tank. And that can be a problem. If you can't constantly knock out Miltank in one hit, this deck can kind of overrun you. With uh, big attacks, eventually with Water Shuriken, it can add up very quickly. But we do have the Glaceon coming out. And we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead with the Chorus Machine onto another Kyurem. Put a Prism on it. And then Frost Spear for 40. And I'm going to try to target down the Froki instead of going after Miltank. If I can limit the number of Greninja in play, perhaps we can win that way. The deck's not that scary until it gets two or three Greninja out and can use Water Shuriken like crazy. Until that point, it really doesn't do a whole lot of damage. For example, it'll be really tough to knock out a Kyurem with just one Greninja in play. It takes two Water Shurikens, or one Water Shuriken and a Muscle Band with Miltank. So my idea here is going to be, let's try to limit the number of Greninja my opponent can get by just targeting down the Froki as quickly as possible. Also, if we can take Stage 2's out of play, Powerful Friends does less damage, so it all works out. We do see an Ultra Ball coming out right now for my opponent, and we'll see what this goes for. Probably, well, I would say probably a Greninja if my opponent can get that, but nope, just another Miltank. I would have expected another Froakie if there weren't another, uh, if there were no way to get Greninja. And oh my, a very costly Sycamore there. Discarding two Greninja and a Super Rod is already gone. So this is a pretty bad start for my opponent. So far things are going pretty well on my side, but I do only have three cards. <laughs> and it's just three energy. So uh, not the greatest situation for me, but at least we're able to put pressure on. Unfortunately, I don't really have any breathing room to use Tropical Beach. I need to keep the pressure on. Here, I'm just going to play the Chorus for 6. That was a very nice top deck. I could attach a third energy to a Kyurem, but I feel like I want to just keep Frost Spearing. That's going to be my way to get the job done here. Uh, Frost Spear, we don't need to bother with Blizzard Burn. Uh, I do have another Eevee in my hand. I could put it down for another Glaceon, but that seems like it may just be a waste. I only really need one Glaceon in play. And we're going to go for the Frost Spear right now. Knocking out that Froakie, and we'll hit the Frogadier on the bench for 30 as well. And I did get another Col or another Kyurem out of the prizes, so if we can keep an army of Kyurem going, I think we'll be fine. Greninja finally comes out, and that means Water Shuriken opens up. But again, there's only one Greninja in play, and that's something we can deal with. Right, we can Frost Spear. I'm going to continue to try to target down that Greninja. Perhaps we could get like a Genesect and Red Signal out that Greninja at some point, try to knock it out. Looks like my opponent is Water Shuriken, uh, using Water Shuriken to target down the Glaceon, which isn't particularly a bad play. I don't know. Maybe, I guess Glaceon's kind of an easy target. It only has 90 HP. That's just three Water Shuriken and a Knockout which is pretty annoying. So I don't know, this is going to be an interesting game, uh, definitely. Now I do top deck a Chorus again. <laughs> uh, Chorus has been very kind to me so far. Going to bench a Deoxys EX, and I don't really want to bench another Deoxys EX. I want to, again, keep powering up more Curum. So if I can do that, I want to draw another Curum this turn with another energy and get going that way. And we're going to continue to Frost Spear if possible. Um, I, it's very tempting to go after that mill tank, but again, I think we're just going to sit tight with our frost spearing. Uh, if I were able to get a Genesec there and red signal the Greninja, that would have been an awesome turn, but I did not draw a plasma energy to do that. So instead, we're just going to keep powering up these Kyurem over and over and over. <laughs> and now we have three of these big guys. Going ahead with a Frost Spear for 50, and then we can either hit Froakie, Miltank, or Greninja. And I'm not really sure what the best 
option is here. If we go after Froki and it doesn't evolve, we can knock it out. But if it does evolve, then it's a wasted Frost Spear, basically. We could go after Miltank, that way, you know, Miltank gets knocked out by the next Frost Spear, and we can just keep using that to get knockouts. But, again, I just kind of want to target down Greninja. So even though it's going to take me five Frost Spears to the bench to do it, I'm going to continue to go after that Greninja. Hopefully at some point we can get a Genesect to Red Signal and just bring out the Greninja and knock it out that way with Frost Spear. I feel like if we can just keep targeting these things down, I could win the game. We do see an Ultra Ball, and we'll see here's another Greninja. So this is where it starts to get scary, the double Greninja is definitely tough to deal with, right? 60 damage out of nowhere every turn, that's really, really tough to deal with. So I'm very scared at this point. You know, we did, we do have an army of Curum ready to go. My opponent hasn't even taken a prize yet, but there is the first one with a powerful friends, and we're going to have to start doing something here quick. So here, I'm just going to promote Glaceon since it has a free retreat cost, and I guess I could end here, but my opponent only has three cards. And I'm not, I think my opponent played a supporter, but only three cards. I'm probably just going to hold on to that end in this situation and not give my opponent more cards. Again, a Genesect here would be awesome, but I'll just settle for the Frost Spear. 50 to knock out Miltank, and then we'll go ahead and do another 30 to Greninja. <laughs> it has 10 HV left at this point. And one more Frost Spear can finally get rid of that thing. I'm purposely not playing the Startling Megaphone because I don't want Muscle Band to come into play to make an easier knockout on Kyurem. With a Muscle Band, Powerful Friends does 100, and then with one Water Shuriken, it would just do 130 total and knock out Kyurem with the Silver Bangle stuck on there. Kyurem's only taken 80 from Powerful Friends, so we don't have to bother getting rid of that Pokemon tool in this case. We'll see if my opponent actually has anything in that hand. We do see the Water Shuriken going on to the active Miltank. And a Superior Energy Retrieval indeed. There's four water, la or four water back out of the discard pile. And this is, again, where things start to get very, very scary. Here is another Water Shuriken to the active. And a Water Energy. So there's the Powerful Friends taking down another Curum. And all of a sudden, my army of Kyurem is whittled away to just one. And how are we going to deal with this? Well, I again, I have this N, and I'm faced with this situation. I know my opponent's hand contains two water energy and one mystery card. I don't know what the mystery card is. That's the problem. But I'm going to take my chance here and just say, uh, your mystery card is junk. We're finally going to get rid of that Greninja. And take the Frost Spear knockout once and for all. That one Greninja is gone. Goodbye. And, alright, we, we use the Muscle Band to Frost Spear for 70. Next turn I could escape Rope and then hit the Greninja for 70. And um, then Frost Spear the Miltake on the bench for 30. Getting more damage out of my Frost Spear. But... Boy, I uh, just got hit by another Water Shuriken on the active for 30 damage. And then another Powerful Friends will do an additional 80. So this is just getting scarier by the second. I have not drawn an energy. That would have been huge to draw an energy there. I could have escape roped and brought out Greninja and knocked it out with Blizzard Burn. And I think that probably would have been the end of the game. You know, getting rid of that Greninja. But... Nope, doesn't look like that's going to happen. Instead, I'm going to Ultra Ball, discarding a Glaceon and an N. And I'm going to go ahead and grab Thunderous EX at this point. That's going to be my cheapest way to get an attack off. And again, I am going to Escape Rope here. We'll retreat into the Curum. And we'll play the Startling Megaphone. I'm just preparing for an N at this point. And then Frost Spear, 70 and 30, knocking out the Miltank on the bench. So at this point, we're down to two prizes, but it is far from over. My opponent does have an N, and oh, oh, there is a Sigilyph. That's going to be tough to deal with as well. I've lost so many Curum so far. Oh, boy. Uh, this is going to be just a down and dirty finish 
I think. It's going to be very tough for either player to win, to be completely honest. We see the Water Shuriken taking down Kyurem. I'll just promote a Deoxys here, since I can just retreat for free with Glaceon. We see the Water go on to the Greninja and an N. So we'll have to see what happens with my opponent. We can either see a Mist Slash, or what's more probable is a retreat into ooh, a Mill Tank now. And then a Tropical Beach to fill the hand. We also see a Level Ball. Oh my goodness. That was a very, very good three cards for my opponent. Getting a Mill Tank and then an access to... A way to access another Froakie and then the Tropical Beach. Oh man, this is... Uh, this is very, very scary at this point. I don't have an energy to use Raid Knuckle this turn. Uh, I would hate to give my opponent an extra turn of Water Shuriken for no real reason. Uh, I'm going to end, and fortunately I do find a Prism Energy, so I think we're going to go with an attack with Thunderous EX this turn. I will retreat into the Thunderous EX and then Raid Knuckle for 70, and we'll go ahead and get another Energy onto the Bench Thunderous EX in case I need to retreat it and attack with the fresh one. So even though I only have to take two prizes, it's going to be at least two more attacks, and my opponent could potentially win in those two turns, given the right cards. That end there did help me quite a bit, since I would I was able to put my opponent back down to a low hand size. If my opponent had had a full seven cards, we could have seen another Rare Candy and Greninja and all sorts of stuff. We do see... There are three Greninja in the discard, though, so that would be very difficult to see another... Greninja this game, as well as the Super Rod in the discard pile. It's going to make things extremely difficult. So we see a Water Shuriken onto the benched Glaceon, and then an Energy onto Miltank, and oh no, a Chorus for 7 as well. This could get out of hand very quickly. Oh man, what do we do? What do we do? Uh, oh no, a Silver Bangle as well. That's going to make Powerful Friends do 110 damage. Oh man, this is getting very, very nerve-wracking at this point. Uh, the dowsing machine as well. <laughs> oh no. My opponent is really bursting at the end of this game. Drawing just about everything he needs to mount a big comeback here. And again, this is getting very scary. My Kyurems are gone. Uh, that Glaceon is just one water shuriken away from being knocked out. Then it's just one EX knockout and I lose. So, man, this is going to be very difficult. Here is a Super Rod shuffling in a Mill Tank, Frogadier, and Greninja. So we could see another Greninja. Ugh. They just don't go away. Uh, top deck. Oh, a Juniper. What a big top deck for the turn. And um, uh, I was hoping for a Genesect and a Plasma Energy there. I just can't find that Genesect this game. What is going on? So I'm just going to attach to the Deoxys and Raid and Knuckle for the knockout. You know what, I'm just going to play the Megaphone as well. Uh, Raid and Knuckle for the knockout then. But, oh, actually I made a big mistake there. I'm not sure why did I leave that Thunderous active. I should have retreated to the fresh one. Oops, I uh, got ahead of myself there. Should have retreated first to make it way more difficult to knock out a Thunderous EX. I'm putting myself in a very bad position at this point. All it will take is a water energy, well, two water energy, and then a muscle band or silver bangle, and a Greninja mist slash could be the game. There, Glaceon does go down. Oh man, this is getting very, very tense. Who will come out on top here? Oh man, I am nervous. <laughs> Uh, especially with that Sigilyph now. What am I going to do against that? Safeguard is going to block me from doing any damage to it. The water does go on to the Sigilyph. And man, my opponent actually cannot use Tropical Beach. Because if he did, he would deck out. <laughs> so we probably won't see that. Yeah, just a pass from my opponent. Okay, so now we have some decisions to make. I can N, and then use Tropical Beach to give myself a fresh 7 cards, basically. I'm going to Hypnotoxic Laser the Sigilyph here. Chorus Machine to find that there is no... Uh, there's, there's not 
any plasma energy left, and I'm going to go with the N to 1 here so that I can just Tropical Beach for myself. Uh, basically, I'm trying to draw into a Genesect and a Shadow Triad at this point. I am out of Team Plasma Ball. I'm out of Ultra Ball, so I have no way to search for a Genesect, and I don't want to burn a Shadow Triad on a way to search for a Genesect. So I'm going to retreat. This time, I'm actually going to retreat. Uh, make it more difficult for my opponent to do something. And Tropical Beach, fill my hand up to 7. And we do have the Genesect and the Shadow Triad. So as long as we don't get hit by an N or lose the game this turn, I should be able to red signal for the win. I don't know. This, this has been quite a crazy game. And I just... Hey, this, uh, if, if anything, this, this Plasma Curum deck provides some exciting games. And there is the pass of a turn. That means it's time for the finale. We can put down the Genesect Shadow Triad for that Plasma Energy. And Red Signal, bring out that damaged Greninja. And we have the Muscle Band on Thunderous EX, which means... Well, we can also bench another Deoxys, which means... We can Raid Knuckle for 80, finishing off this extremely close game against Miltank Greninja. Whew. I don't even know what to say after that one. That was a crazy, crazy game, but we barely came out on top. So these have been some really fun games so far. That's only round two of the tournament. We have one more game to go. Man, I'm exhausted already. Oh, this is <laughs> this has taken so long. All right, so our finals match will be against Alex USP80. We'll have to see what he's playing. This will be for the gold trophy and four packs of flash fire. <laughs> uh, a lot of effort for these four packs. Here we go. A lot on the line here. See who goes first. Looks like I lose the flip, but oh, my opponent lets me go first. Very strange move. Usually that means my opponent is going to be using a Team Plasma deck. I still don't feel like that's the right thing to do. But, hey, I'll, I'll definitely accept going first. So I'm going to start off with that Kyurem, attach a Muscle Band. I don't know if I want to put down Genesect in this matchup. And I also don't know what kind of Plasma deck my opponent is playing. We do see a Deoxys EX. So I'm just going to go ahead with the N... And pass the turn, because I didn't get any other Pokemon. Maybe benching Genesect might have been good there. But again, I, I feel like bench space is very valuable in this deck. So I don't want to put down Genesect until I really need to red signal. I would rather keep space for, you know, some Deoxys, another Curum, maybe the uh, Glaceon. I don't really know. But we do see this seems to be another Curum-based Plasma deck. So I'm not sure what to expect. We see an Ultra Ball discarding Umbreon and Lysander. So instead of Glaceon, my opponent is running Umbreon, which could actually make a pretty big difference in this matchup. The plus 20 HP from Umbreon's ability, Dark Shade, does change some math a little bit. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, also, I need to get another Pokemon in play, or else I could very well get benched out and lose. So I am just going to go ahead and attach that rainbow, and we'll end here for six. And okay, thankfully, we did get Deoxys EX into play. Unfortunately, my hand beyond that is downright awful, right? We're going to go ahead and Frost Spear for 40, and then 30 to the bench Kiram, but my hand is no good. This is just absolutely bad. Ugh. So hopefully my opponent plays an end or I draw a supporter pretty soon. Otherwise, this is going to be a very, very ugly finals match for me. Thunderous EX hits the bench. And my, my opponent does need to draw some kind of switching card to get Deoxys out of the active spot. Definitely. Otherwise, he's going to be in some trouble. Uh, I hit the Curum for 30 with Frost Spear. I'm not sure if that was the correct move, but... I don't really know where else to put the damage. Hitting a Deoxys seems kind of futile. Or futile if, um... I mean, what, what does that lend itself to? I don't know. If I could get another Frost Spear off on that Kyurem, then a Raiden Knuckle could perhaps knock it out. Or a Helix Force can knock out Kyurem if it only has two energy. So I'm not really sure where to go with this. 
We do see a Skyla this turn. And what is this going to go for? A Floatstone. Alright, so Floatstone is going to give the Deoxys free retreat. And there we see an energy go on to the Curum. It looks like my opponent is going to Frost Spear, which is a pretty strong move, considering it'll put me at 70 HP remaining. Alright, so here, I don't think I have much of a choice. I hate doing this, but what else can I do besides just Blizzard Burn? My hand is awful. That Kyurem is just going to knock me out next turn if I don't take the knockout on it. And I wouldn't have any response. So let's go for the Blizzard Burn, getting a knockout. I do get a Skyla off of the prizes. Not the best supporter in the world, but at least it's something to work with, right? Right. <laughs> okay, so we're still on the back foot, hoping that my opponent will play an N at some point. Seems like... I don't know, a lot, of, a lot of times I hope my opponent ends me into a new hand. <laughs> but no, um, I don't know, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. A muscle band could be very bad news, since Raid Knuckle plus muscle band would be a knockout. So I'm hoping that does not happen here. But it looks like just a shadow triad for a plasma energy. Where, where's that going to go? Looks like... Oh, it didn't go anywhere. Oh, that's because the prism went on to the active thunderous. Duh. Okay. So now the raid knuckle goes on to the bench curum. And we're left with a rather difficult decision. Here is my problem. I cannot attack this turn because I used blizzard burn on the last turn. I would like to Skyla for a supporter. But if I do, I don't really get to attack. Then I lose my curum with all my energy. And my opponent ends up with a fully powered Kyurem. And I don't know how to respond to that. I would need to draw quite a bit of stuff. So my other alternative is to grab a Team Plasma Ball. Grab a Genesect. Then we can escape Rope. Clearing out the effect of Blizzard Burn. And then Red Signal out the Kyurem. And knock it out with Blizzard Burn. Yes, I still end up losing my Kyurem. But at least we set my opponent back a little bit. And end up, you know, s slowing down a Kyurem from being built up. And I feel like that is what's going to be very important here. So let's go for an escape rope in this situation. It doesn't really matter what my opponent brings out. Because I'm going to red signal it anyway. And my opponent decides to bring out Kyurem. Um, so that means we can just go ahead and attach and retreat and blizzard burn. I cannot just leave Genesect active. Because a Frost Spear would just knock me out. So we're pretty much committed to this play where I Blizzard Burn for 140 and take down that Kyurem. So I held on to the Colrus Machine. Didn't know if I wanted to use that on perhaps Deoxys or Genesect to give myself a free retreat. I don't really know. And Eevee comes down. We see a Colrus for six cards from my opponent. I'm hoping not to see another Kyurem. We have taken out two of them. And I don't really mind getting hit by Raiden Knuckle from Thunderous DX. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage. With that Muscle Band, it is doing 70, but that's still not even enough to two-hit knock out something like a Genesect. So, I don't know. This is going to be difficult. I didn't get a Kyurem, though. We do have a Colrus Machine. Just a top deck of a supporter at this point could be game-changing. But here is a Colrus Machine. Going to go on to the Deoxys EX on the bench. And probably the Raid Knuckle Energy will go on to the Deoxys as well. Preparing that for a Helix Force in the future. So let's promote Genesect here. It does have a free retreat cost. Uh, I'm going to Colrus Machine. We'll put one of them onto the Kyurem on the bench just to get it ready. And then there's no point playing the second Colrus Machine until I really need to know where the energy goes. So I'm going to pass the turn. And just hope to top deck because I am in some trouble. The bright side of things, if my opponent doesn't manage to get a cure amount, what really attacks me here? Deoxys for 30? No. Thunderous for 70? Okay, I can buy some time with that one. But oh man, uh, an N. I get a fresh hand. All right. Jackpot. All right, now we can get somewhere. Now we can start drawing some cards, start getting some more options. And our aggression has paid off because it has forced my opponent to play an N at some point. And, well, we kind of got bailed out. 
So there's just another Raid Knuckle. Another energy has to go on to a benched Pokemon, so another Deoxys will get that energy. And I draw a switch. Ooh. So that's going to allow me to switch and then play a Colrus here or a Juniper. It's probably the only two I would play at this point. Uh, Colrus draws me six, but I wouldn't have to discard three other supporters. Juniper draws me an extra card. I'm just going to go for the Colrus, and I did manage to get the team or the, the Prism energy along with an Eevee we can put down just in case I want to retreat. And now we can go with a Frost Spear. Hitting Thunderous EX for 50 damage. I could have benched another Deoxys there, but I don't know if the damage would have mattered. And then we'll hit the Deoxys EX on the bench for 30 damage. Since if that comes out, I would just need to attach and Blizzard Burn for the knockout. And I don't need a Muscle Band. So I got a fresh hand there, but once again, we are left with no supporter. And that is just not good. Once again, I'm left with almost no options. <laughs> so, so much for that. But we'll see. Hopefully we can draw into something good. Glaceon's not looking so pretty right now. I held on to the Team Plaza Ball because I didn't know if I wanted to get another Curum or something. We may want to wait to see what I draw before I search out something else there. We see Skyla, so we'll probably... See another Kyurem this turn from my opponent finally getting one powered up. Oh man, so this is going to be very difficult to deal with. And we just see a computer search. And that's probably very smart because my opponent doesn't have any energy in the discard pile. So computer search will allow my opponent to discard a couple energy and still find another Pokemon. And then use Raiden Knuckle to power it up. So very smart move from the opponent. Must be out of Ultra Balls. Otherwise, probably just would have grabbed that, but Computer Search works as well. And indeed, we do see the Kyurem come down with a Rainbow Energy and a Chorus Machine. My goodness. And just like that, Raid and Knuckle. Oh my goodness. Kyurem is all powered up. And what do I do? Well, I draw Kyurem, apparently. <laughs> uh, oh man, this is just not pretty. Not pretty at all. Let's see here. I may bench the third Deoxys. I'm going to go ahead and Plasma Ball for another Glaceon just to get it out of the deck. I drew a Kyurem, go figure. So we're going to get that into my hand. I got a handful of Pokemon. I may bench Deoxys here since I can hit for 60. And then finish off with another hit for 60 We're using Thunderous EX. That may be a good route to go. I'm not really sure. Sure, I guess that, that makes sense. We are in top deck mode, though. That's not good. So let's Frost Spear and do 60 to the active. And I'm really not sure if this damage matters. So I guess we'll hit Curum. That could end up mattering. Eevee could end up mattering. We could pick it off with two Frost Spears. But at this point, it just doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to Frost Spear again. Um, an ambulance is coming by outside my house because my Kyurem is about to go to the hospital, apparently. <laughs> um, man, why are there so many ambulances that come by my house? Anyway, let's see what happens now. Oop, a chorus for nine cards. My goodness, this is just not pretty at all. What are we going to do? I don't really know. Will we see a, another Raiden Knuckle, or will we see Kyurem using Frost Spear for a knockout this turn? That's going to be my question. A Raiden Knuckle could walk into a knockout, and then I just need to take two prizes to win. So it looks like my opponent kind of realizes this and says, All right, let's just use Frost Spear instead. That seems to make a little bit more sense, I suppose. And we'll just see... A one prize attacker instead of the two prize Thunderous EX. There is the Frost Spear for a knockout. And we'll see what gets hit for 30. Looks like the Deoxys on the bench. I'm not sure if that's going to end up really mattering at all. But, alright. I'm going to promote Glaceon here. Because, well, um, I'm probably going to need to sacrifice a non-EX this turn. And because if I've sacrificed a Deoxys EX 
and then I have to raid and knuckle, and then I just lose, right? Two EX knockouts, and I lose. So I'm going to bench Thunderous EX just in case Glaceon does go down this turn. And hope for a miracle at this point, because it looks awful. I have nothing to work with. Where are my supporters? I don't know. Where are my energy? I don't know. Where is anything? <laughs> we just have nothing to work with. So, I maybe should have Ultra Ball there and just pulled the Kyurem out of the deck. I don't know. Since I really won't be able to use more than one at this point. But my opponent does go for the Blizzard Burn. Just taking out Glaceon completely. I'm going to promote Thunderous. And oh my goodness, Chorus! That's going to mean a big chorus for 10, and what a monster top deck. That's going to change the game completely, and what perfect cards to draw to. A rainbow energy, a muscle band, and a hypnotoxic laser. That's going to mean 90 total damage from this raid knuckle, and all of a sudden, that Kyurem gets knocked out. We get another energy onto a benched Pokemon. Kyurem starts to get powered up. We're tied in prizes. And my opponent's only Pokemon to attack with are a, a heavily damaged Thunderous EX. And then a couple Deoxys EX. Wow, what a quick turnaround that was. I don't even know what to say about that. That is a ridiculous turnaround. And all of a sudden we were on the verge of being defeated. And we are now back in control of this game. Now we are tied in prizes, so anything can happen here. I do have some heavily damaged Pokemon on the bench, but boy, things definitely changed right there. What an incredible top deck of that chorus for 10 massive cards, turning into the energy, the muscle band, the laser, knocking out that fully powered Kyurem. Man, that, that could not have gone better right there. Now we have a lot of cards to work with. There's all of my Junipers that I haven't seen the entire game, and boy, this is going to put my opponent in a very difficult spot at this point. First of all, what is my opponent going to do? Are we going to see a Raiden Knuckle? Because that just walks right in to my own Raiden Knuckle knockout. And I get to power up my Kyurem on the bench. So now we just see a switch into Deoxys EX. And a Helix Force for 60. I managed to draw a Shadow Triad there. Which is a huge top deck. Now I can just go ahead and Shadow Triad. If I want to, I can red signal for the Thunderous EX and get down to one prize and just need to knock out one more Pokemon to win the game. Oh man, this is huge. Let's go with the Shadow Triad. Let's grab the Plasma Energy. Now, do I go for the Eevee or the Thunderous? That's my question here. I may just go for the Thunderous since a Max Potion could happen. This does set me up to get hit by an end to one, but I'll live with the results if that happens. Since I do have a Kyurem with two energy now, we're down to one prize. Oh my goodness. This is huge, and all we really have to deal with is a Deoxys EX that can't really knock me out. Even with a Muscle Band, that would only do 80 damage, which is not nearly enough to finish off Thunderous EX. We have taken firm control of this game. My opponent doesn't seem to have any real attacking options in sight. We do see the Thunderous EX come down, though. Oh, man. Uh, what is going to happen next? Looking back, I may have been better off just using Red Signal for the Eevee. So that way, if I get hit by an N, it would only be to, it would be to two cards instead of one. And then I could still just knock out an EX to win, which is most of my opponent's Pokemon. And we see a Chorus Machine. Looks like that's going to fail at this point. And will we get hit by an N if we don't? The game is pretty much over. We can do whatever we want. Power up the Kyurem and... Oh no, an end to one. But oh yes, a Juniper. Well, we have not played many of them. So I suppose that works out. <laughs> and there is the Rate Knuckle for 60. Will I be able to draw the cards here to win the game? Here we go. There's going to be a huge turn. Juniper for seven. And yes, there is the Plasma Energy. That means we can go ahead... Red signal out the Eevee and finish it off with one final Raiden Knuckle for the game. Thank you, Genesect, for your mighty red signal. And we win the tournament. Three straight nail-biting games. Wow, this is probably the most exciting one yet. I can't believe I won that game.
but we come out victorious. Our Plasma Curum deck manages to take down another Plasma Curum deck off of an amazing top deck at just the right moment. Wow. What else can you say but wow in that situation? Curum, Thunderous, Deoxys, and of course Genesect carry us to victory. Crazy. I don't really have many more words beyond that, but we got the victory here, we got our gold trophy, we got our four packs, our tokens, and whatnot, and look at that, we emerge victorious for my ninth trophy <laughs> in these tournaments. Oh man, so if you guys do want to play in these tournaments, it's alpha testing, which means they only happen about once a week. They post announcements on the Pokemon TCG online forums when they go live, so be sure to check those out, they're pretty random on when they happen but hope you guys enjoyed this video it certainly was a long one but we got to see a lot of this deck in action so again hope you enjoyed i am exhausted after this tournament <laughs> but i am puka from the top cut i'll certainly have some more videos for you guys soon and i'll see you guys next time